Okie dokies, um, zoom in a little bit, okay. Now, I'm, I'm not exactly very, um, happy with my last review of the K-Bar Mule, so, uh, I'm not using my tripod today, so, give me a break. Err. Okay, let me just pull that out. Okay. Uh, this is the K-Bar Mule. Alright. K-Bar Mule. It is a beast of a knife. Let me zoom out a little because it's crazy. There we go. It's a very big pocket knife. The blade on this is made of AUS-8A. Uh, very good steel, in my opinion. If you see it, the blade is actually pretty damn thick. And it has uh, ambidextrous uh, thumb studs. Which is good, and there's some uh, grip on there too, so you get a real good grip. The blade is really thick. I mean, look at that. That's pretty thick. Now, this cost me about mm, $46, but I gotta tell you, it is worth it. You get the, th uh, the sheath and everything, so... Oh, and another thing about this, uh, you could, uh, there's a good pocket clip on this, but if you want, you could put it on the other side if you want to, so, yeah. I just figured I'd do another review on this because my last review was kind of dark and not very good, so, um, <laughs> this kind of a uh, cutlery lover style review, uh, only uh, without all the facts and details and uh, the person behind the camera knowing what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> so yeah, this is a very good knife, I, I could say, and the uh, only problem with it is you can't really close it with one hand very good. I mean, you could, but you got you got like a hit it and like do that, and you got to carefully you know, cut your fucking fingers off here. It's dangerous. But yeah. This is the K-Bar Mule, uh, Tonto style blade. I fully recommend it to anyone looking for a good pocket knife. And, I mean, if you have the money to spare, go for it. It's going to last a very long time. I mean, it's, it's really heavy duty. It, uh, this knife weighs about half a pound. And a lot of people will say, well, that's a lot of weight. But, really half a pound? Is it really going to kill you? Is it really going to break your back to carry it? I mean, come on. I mean, alright, hold on. Give me a minute. Uh, the K-Bar Warthog, just do a little size comparison. The K-Bar Warthog compared to the K-Bar Mule, um, it's a little bit smaller. This is a lot smaller than the K-Bar Mule. Uh, has G10 handles. I don't know if that means anything to anyone, but it's pretty comfortable. The K-Bar Mule, on their hand, is I don't know, more to my liking because it's heavier, and I, I like heavy blades. I do. So, yeah. Get that out of there. It's not a review on this. Be honest. So, yeah. If you're looking for a good knife and you have the money to spare, get a K-Bar Mule. If you want a good knife and you don't have a lot of money to spare, get a K-Bar Warthog. Both very good knives. Uh, the only one that comes with a sheath is the K-Bar Mule. So, I, I, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it.